welcome listeners today we are going to learn about soil compaction in geotechnical engineering what is compaction compaction is the compressibility of soil or we can say the expulsion of air voids from the soil medium so the compaction in all the construction practices it will be helpful for us in to determine the bearing capacity of soil and also the volume relationships the compaction can be estimated using the standard vector compaction test which is the is method of finding the optimum moisture content and maximum dry density this test can be run at various water contents so the first level we will start with 8% of water depending on the type of the soil whether it is a fine grain soil or a coarse grain soil the amount of soil that we will be taking is 2.5 kg and take the mould keep it in a open tray put the soil in that and add 8% of water by weight after adding the water melt the soil into three layers and each layer keep it in a mould by giving 25 blows each when you are giving the blows you need to blow in a circular motion so that all the layer is get it compacted after the first layer is being compacted using a straight edge so turn it off and then keep the another layer like this the total mould has to be filled up with three layers each 25 blows after the mould has been filled up the uppermost layer should be trimmed off again and then the top core has to be removed from the soil we need to take the middle portion in order to determine the water content by keeping it in the oven for 24 hours at 110 plus or minus 5 degrees centigrade after finding the water content for different soil layers we can draw a compaction curve from which we can find the maximum dry density by keeping the x axis the water content and on y axis the dry density take the moisture content at each trials that you have made and find the dry density for each level and plot it on the curve the maximum dry density and the corresponding water content will give you the optimum moisture content which will be used for all the purposes of finding relative compaction and how to compact the soil in each and every construction practices to sum up the compaction helps us in all determination of strength of the soil and its bearing capacity thank you